Have you ever dreamed of escaping it all and moving onto a boat? Well, that's exactly what we did. And let's just say it's not as glamorous as you think. Welcome to a day of life on board Tank Roa. Ignore the music. This day is not epic. It's just normal. Do you want tea to take with you for school? <coughs> okay, tea time. Mama doesn't function without tea. Are you ever gonna fix a leak in my room? I'd like to, I'm not sure how to. It rained in the middle of the night, so it's still raining actually. Blaine got up to move Izzy's computer because water leaks onto it. And then noticed that the dog had peed on the floor. Oh. Now I keep the milk in the outside fridge because we get the big gallons and they don't fit on the inside fridge. And then we scope the acreage. It's very important to scope the acreage to make sure everybody's where they're supposed to be. It's a bit chilly today. I was gonna go to shore. I don't know if I'm going to shore anymore. I was gonna go to shore and work at the house. I might start the fire and just work here today. Start the fire and work here today. I know how much trouble you have working when the fire is going and it's warm in here. That is the problem when we get the diesel fire going here. It gets so warm, like a nice sauna and cozy that I just want to have a nap. And then I don't get any editing done. <laughs> so it's cold, so we're gonna turn on the fire, which means I come downstairs and I gotta turn on the fuel pump for the fire, which is this one. Of course, it's not labeled. Turning it on means just turning it so the fuel starts going into the little um, into the fire. I don't know the proper words. We're priming it. Okay, it's priming. Tag you're it. I need tea. Where are Mark's going this morning? He does drive around a lot though, which is good. It's good to see boats being used. Okay, first cup of tea this morning, and then we're gonna go check out what's happening in the anchorage off the bow of the boat. Uh, morning rituals, man. Very important. We also check to make sure we still have two dinghies hanging off the back of the boat. We've learned that lesson before. Got up once and the dinghy was gone. That sucked. It's checking what's for dinner and I do, we do here a, field, a menu plan and today we're doing cashew crusted fish. I know I already bought the fish and it's in the fridge thawing so perfect. I don't have to pull anything for dinner. That's priority because on a boat, it doesn't thaw very fast if you have to pull something out of the freezer for dinner. And then we chill as a family for the morning until Blaine and Izzy have to head to work. Which is pretty shortly. Blaine, Izzy to school, which is your work. Blaine to work. And Blaine is not working on cars today. What are you doing? I'm working on boats today. Oh. Doing Pioneer. So he's just going to be next door working on a boat. I will be. And Benny, you're coming back for lunch then. Uh, likely. Sometimes they make me lunch though. Okay. Next to my Izzy. And? Oh, and my Maggie. <laughs> Maggie's just your best friend right now because you have chicken nuggets. No. Yep. She is pretty <laughs> wrapped. She wants the bowl. See? She wants some breadcrumbs. Yum, 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 yum. 
How's the fire going? Good. Don't forget that back to, fan. It's already on. Just have to keep adjusting the feed fan on it. No, oh, it's going to get nice and cozy in here. Just want to shop and we have something? two vehicles, a car and a truck. Usually I drive the car, which is Kiki. And Blaine has a mini truck, both from Japan, both right-hand drive. Um, they're small, good on gas. But uh, since Blaine is coming back out to the boat to work on the boat next door, I'm going to make him take Maggie to shore to go for a pee. And Izzy's happy because Maggie gets to come with her to go to school. Here you go, Maggie. Woo! <laughs> As you can see, she enjoys that. Guess she's ready to go to shore. Bye. Get in the mugs. over here we're taking Kiki today yeah we got the, the Maggie Maggie come on first it's breakfast time though and I don't know what Izzy cooked last night but she leaves a mess I think she said she had some noodles like itchy bad noodles but I just want some Eggs. So I'm gonna boil a couple of eggs up. We have a induction stove top here, which is awesome because it doesn't use very much power. We also have a water maker on board so we can usually keep up with our water supply. Right now we're not making water because our filters are absolutely clogged. That's the joys of the Pacific Northwest. There is a lot of growth in the water so our, our, our water filters clog up really fast but we found them really cheap here we buy them for 50 bucks a piece which is insane but we found them on amazon in the states for 16 dollars a piece we're just waiting for them to ship up here and when we get stuff from the states we ship to sea wings which has an american address and then they bring it across for us for us and then we import them okay get my eggs going Gonna be yummy. My favorite breakfast is mashed up eggs with butter and salt and pepper like my mama used to cook me. And I was gonna make more tea, but I can't find my cup. Oh wait, there's my cup. Okay, more tea. We are in an off-grid boat. So when I run the kettle, microwave and everything like that, we can't run the kettle microwave at the same time because it makes the power bar click off. But we run everything on batteries. Whoa, lights came on, did you see that? Let me tell you about our lights. <laughs> I have no clue why, but if it's too cold in the boat, none of the lights in this upper area work. So and it's something to do with that switch. So because we have the fire on and it just got warm enough, wah, let there be lights and there was lights. I know we have no clue why it does that. <laughs> He could walk. But I know. But she doesn't. We've arrived at school. Yeah, Izzy's favorite time of the day. <laughs> have a day. <laughs> See you after school. And off she goes. All right. Just a quick stop at the shop here to pick up a part for a customer.
Mags and I are back to the dock here. Just gonna take her for a quick walk and then it's gonna be back out to the boat. What do you think about that, Maggie? Maggie's all peed and food here. We're gonna head on back. A lot of people ask how we can deal with the weather when you're living out um, out at anchor or out of out on a mooring. Um, funny thing is, is we moved out onto the mooring when it was nice and summertime and weather was beautiful and uh, and things were all good. And the benefit of that is, is you acclimatize as the months go by because the weather changes typically have happen pretty slow and uh, you just you just kind of get used to it. Um, like today is a pretty miserable day. It's it's not it's not snowing or anything, but it's a it's kind of just a, like a gross drizzle that's not stopping at all. Um, so it's one of the least pleasant days to be you know, going anywhere. But, um, but like I said, you, you dress for it, you get used to it, and it's not so big of a deal. So it's work time for me. I am in the Yes Theory boot camp. Um, learning about YouTube and you know what everybody thinks you know YouTube is just picking up a camera uh -uh. there is so much to learning about YouTube so you can see already I'm in here with yes theory with Thomas Bragg learning everything I can about telling stories for you guys okay so I'm working on antennas and things on uh, pioneer today which requires a little bit of mast work um, so I've got to do a little bit of work, replace this, um, mount the GPS uh, compass, satellite compass. Um, I don't really like this, this is all plastic and it's all fairly heavily sun damaged at this point, so it should probably go. I've just done three hours of Zoom calls and meetings and Discord and all that, and my head's fried. So I'm going to take Miss Maggie to shore. I'm gonna take the dinghy to a park that's local here, plus she is itching to go out. And really, I need to clear my mind until I have another meeting at one o'clock. <laughs> she is so excited. I know, I'm coming, I'm coming, stop barking. Uh. Oh, it's windy. Okay, and how we drain? Go for it. We drain our dinghy if you pull out the plug. of the boat, the water will suck out like a vacuum. It's going. That's where Blaine is working today. You can see our dinghy right there. And Maggie is so excited about going ashore. So where we're going for a walk is our favorite spot. It's Todd Inlet and it's in behind Bush Shark Gardens. But Maggie obviously loves it here. It was an old cement plant where they used to ship um, bricks and everything out of. So we are gonna head here for a walk and let Maggie go for a peek and a poo. Appears to be something new on the dock and I've got no clue what. Somebody has a wagon and a freezer. So you're only supposed to be in this bay for 14 days at a time but a lot of these boats in here have seriously been here over a year or at least over the whole winter and now they're using the dock to store stuff i don't know about that one
Bye bye, dinghy. Now, if you saw our Christmas video, our winter video, that's about where we were frozen in, where we were stuck for three days and nearly missed Christmas. Okay, that's one happy dog running around like a crazy dog. Look at her go. Zoom, zoom, Maggie, zoom, zoom. Maggie, this way, come on, this way. This is seriously one of my favorite things is taking her for a walk. I don't know, it's just kind of a cool place. This is one of my favorite trees. The trilliums are out. These are the official, floor, official flower of Ontario where I grew up. Oh, they're so pretty. I have to say spring is my favorite time of the year when things start coming out. Never good when Maggie goes running off at a juncture of like five pathways. This is usually where the rabbits hung out, hang out, so I should know better. Blaine, don't give me trouble. It gives me trouble every time I let the dog off the leash. <gasps> Found her! Hi, what you doing? Crazy girl? You have to start heading back because I have another meeting at one o'clock with the girl who builds my sales funnels for Live Your Life Adventure Challenge. Again, I do everything online, so I've got to go head back, meet her, and I need lunch. I'm starving, and a cup of tea would be really good too. So let's let Maggie have her last little peas, and then we're heading back to the boat. She knows. Oh my! This is not good. And this is not rain, this is hail. <laughs> Look at the hail, can you see it bouncing? Yeah, we're getting hailed on. We're getting like the weirdest weather in April. The hail bouncing everywhere. Like a crazy amount of hail. Okay, I'm putting the camera away so it doesn't get wet. Guys, oh, hail's falling on the camera. Okay, see you back at the boat. Back to the boat. You can see where we're starting to take all the paint off. It's a long and laborious project. Oh, that was a lot of rain. I have to clean my lens. Okay, Maggie, we're back to the computer. Oh, nice and warm in here. Okay, sit. Bye. Chini, and I need some tomatoes, and I have fresh basil, a little bit of pepper. So what do you think about our day so far? It's pretty normal, isn't it? It's like anybody, you know, work, go to uh, school, um, work at home. It's very similar. The only thing is the things we have to look for is I'm gonna have to check the battery power pretty soon. The diesel heater is running and if I want to take the dog to shore I gotta go by dinghy. Also we swing constantly. So we rock just sometimes and we swing. So my view is constantly changing out that window. So it is quarter after three. I just got a phone call from Izzy and she's just getting off the bus at the marina which means it's time to go in and pick her up. Look at you. Maggie loves. Okay, Maggie, quiet. So I just pick her up at a local marina here and they allow me just to nose in and grab her. We don't dock anything here, but yeah. I just nose in and grab her and say, hey, Izzy. Where is she? <gasps> Hey, 
are you? How's school? Schooly. School with schooly? Yeah. School is always schooly. Yeah. How's math? Mathy. Climbing. Climbing me. Climbing in knee? Climbing knee. Climbing knee. That's hard to say. Do you have homework today? No. Okay. End of the day. I don't even know what time it is. 20 after 6, I'm getting off my laptop. I've made one YouTube short and done a heck of a lot of meetings today, so I'm done. Blaine just came home. What'd you do today? I climbed masts on other boats. I worked on some gauges. I worked on a battery management system. You did lots of stuff. Productive day. And then Izzy came home, and Blaine and Izzy just started yelling at each other. Not like that. <laughs> not, not like in a bad it way. Was, not in a bad it way. was more like, hi! Hi! How are you? I'm good, thank you! That's it. Yeah. See what I gotta live with? Okay, now we gotta make dinner. Get out of there, we're making dinner! What's for dinner? Fish. Cashew encrusted fish. Cashew encrusted fish. Nut encrusted fish. Cashew! Cashew. Cashew. What? Cashew crusted fish. Trout. With rice. Fine, have some ramen. <laughs> Cook it fast because I need my oven top. <laughs> Anybody else have this issue with teenagers? Teenagers that live on a boat, no different. You make enough for all of us? No. You have a fish. Now that Izzy's done cooking, it's my turn. They never clean up their mess though. Heat oven to 375. Now we have an absolutely normal oven on board that runs on our lithium batteries. I can count on two hands how many times we use it. We actually don't use it that much. Um, we usually do the um, instant pot or the barbecue, but our barbecue's food barred right now. So I gotta get that replaced. Okay, cashew encrusted fish. I need nut cashews. Okay. Best thing in our galley is this. I designed this. Look at that. How much stuff there is. I need some cashews. Cashews. And the other really good thing is, this is a really skinny cupboard, which fits mason jars perfectly. So I've got all my couscous, pine nuts, baking soda, farro, bulgur, everything, just like that. It's also a very good for spices. Maybe sometime I should give you a galley tour. Not today. Today, we're just gonna cook. And the best part of the day is every day, the First Nations start lip, they canoe past. Look at this little dude. He's just really powering through. Impressive. I need a food processor. I do not have a food processor on board this boat. So instead, I think I'm gonna just put it in a bag and I'll go find a hammer and just hammer the out of it. I know I had a hammer on the weekend. And the problem when you're boat refitting is you put down places and then you can't find it again. <sighs> Izzy, I don't have a hammer. Look what's working. And while the asparagus is cooking, we are going out to the bow. Hey, you wanna bring the fire starter? Or I need one. You see one there? Okay. Yep. Because the sun came out and we just put on good winter jackets and we have a fire pit. So at the end of a long day, this is one of our favorite places to sit and because it's just becoming summer and spring, we're sitting here more often. Perfect. Oven timer went off. I just shooed a crow off the boat. Don't know what he was doing up there. So let me go check the asparagus. Oh, look 
looking good with the fishing. That fogs up a lens. Sorry about that, people. Better? Okay, I'll show you. Come on back in here, man. Oh, that looks good. They always say in Victoria, if you don't like the weather, just wait 10 minutes. Well, 10 minutes ago, Blaine and I were sitting on the bow with a fire pit. Now look. It's hailing and pouring. It's gonna be really yucky for Izzy when she has to take Maggie into shore for a pee tonight. She is not gonna be happy. Our usual nighttime routine, Blaine Researching. researches on his computer, everything from like how to fix boats, what we need for the boat, parts for the boat, etc., etc., etc. And I sit my arts down right there and watch a show and chill out and relax. So what do you guys think about our life on a boat so far? Absolutely thrilling. And since I told you what Blaine and I are doing, you wanna go see what Izzy does? She is just like any teenager, but her gaming area is down here. Hi. It's very pink. When it's dark, she has it all pink LED lit up, right? We call it her gaming cave. Down here, we can't hear her, and we like it that way. <laughs> and then what happens usually is I get tired, or Blaine gets tired, and we both go to bed early. It is quarter to eight. I am heading to bed. Blaine is still researching a new navigation system for a boat. Yeah, for Kristen and Dave. And then, yeah, I'm going to head to bed. And the good thing about our bed is, it's the problem is this heater... It heats up the boat so much, it's like a sauna, and it makes you really tired. Oh, this is Izzy's garbage. Can you remember to put the... I'll put the towel down for the dog, or... Okay. I'll put a towel down for Maggie, just in case she pees on the floor. Like she did this morning. Usually we have a towel down for her. The bedroom's a bit messy. But if we make our bed, we have... Heated blankets. So we turn on a heated blanket before bed, which is that one. And then one of Izzy's job is, what do you have to do, Izzy? <laughs> what do you have to do, Izzy? Take the missile chonker right here. Chonker? Yeah. And take her in. Yeah, she needs to go for a pee. So that's Izzy's job at night, <laughs> is to take her in for a pee and a poop. Maggie, you ready to go to her pee? No. Uh oh. She's almost ready. <laughs> ready? Let her go. Go! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> the key's in the boat. And that is a normal day of life on board Tangaroa. If you like that video, check out this one where Blaine explains our plan for this winter and our amazing engine room makeover. <laughs>